Octavia Plotchkov and I'm here in Philadelphia at the 2018 Philadelphia Villain Arts Tattoo Convention. Actually, it's the 20th one. And I'm gonna show you what we have in store today. Tattoo convention with Robert. Your full name? You say the second half. I want to see if you can pronounce my name. Say it. Uh -huh. It's right behind you. <laughs> First of all, I'm trilingual and I butcher all names. Okay, I'll say it with an accent because if I don't say it with an accent, I can't pronounce it. So it's Robert Lasardo. Lasardo. La Sardo. You set me up for failure. <laughs> so what are you doing here today? That's a good question. Um, I woke up this morning and I and here I am. Actually, I was invited. Yeah, Troy, the promoter, invited me. So I'm excited to be here. I, I always like to come to the conventions because I get to meet people that I can talk with, like yourself, who uh, understand the experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we are flattered to have you here. Uh, is this your first time at the Philadelphia Tattoo yes. Convention? Do you think we could have your presence back next year? Yes. We would love that. Well, you know, it's interesting. I'm looking around, and you know, I've done a few, a few uh, tattoo expos. I've done a variety of conventions, you know, different genres, horror conventions, comic cons, etc. I've done them overseas. I've done them in the United States. But honestly, I've never seen one this big before. I mean, I'm looking around. Wow, you could fit three, you know, pretty decent conventions in this one room, man. It's like a size of two football fields. It's incredible. So what can you tell us about the tattoo industry? Something you want everybody to know? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. I know nothing. I only know that when I was 17 years old, I got my first tattoo. It was in Brooklyn, and it was illegal back in the day. And Mike Perfetto, the legendary tattoo artist, uh, tattooed me, and I was bricks. Can I say bricks? Is that okay? Anyway, so it was pretty scary. So that's my experience, man. And, and, and who knew? I didn't know that 30 years, 30, 40 years into the future that it would become this. Yeah. That people would celebrate it, that people would have fun. The judgment thing would just kind of like disintegrate over the decades. And I'm seeing young men and young women communicating their art form, their feelings, their passion, whatever you want to, you know, visual poem or poetry is being expressed in ways I never could have conceived of. So that's pretty mind blowing for me. When back in the day, they had three colors. I think it was black, green and red, that was it. And they just took a stencil, put it on you, no gloves, no rubber gloves, and good luck. You know, next. And the, it was just that kind of a production line of badasses sitting there uh, getting tattooed. So I think that in itself was a rite of passage, you know? And so I think now, when I look around, it's very comforting to see that the, the stigma has somewhat been lifted, not necessarily in Hollywood, because I think they still, they, they don't quite get it. They exploit it. But I don't know if they understand uh, in terms of, you know, the, 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 the core expression and what it means spiritually for a lot of people, or at least yeah, how, the, 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 uh, the nostalgia, all the stuff that's connected to it, I think that motivates people to express themselves like yourself, especially young women, attractive women and men, who are, are basically doing this now. And so Hollywood looks at it, or the, the corporate mainstream looks at it and goes, okay, we don't quite understand this, but we'll exploit the hell out of it because it's become so prolific. And a lot of people, obviously, in day-to-day -day lives now are, are, are very open about ornamenting themselves. They're not afraid or ashamed to do that. Now, back in the 1970s and 80s, if you walked around sleeved down like I was, it was, you know, you basically had a fight, man. People gave you a hard time. It, it was not so acceptable. Wow, who's your art? It was more like, why would you do that to yourself? It has how changed could, a lot. How can, you, how can you do something like that? So that's been kind of lifted, which I'm so grateful to be in a situation like this with so many people where I feel right at home. And there's no, you don't have to justify your existence. You don't have to justify anything. All you do is just have some really cool conversations with people and you celebrate the art. It's an art form. Yeah. That's what it is. It definitely has changed over time, and yeah. I'm also happy to see that it's more open and acceptable and appreciated. So thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you next year. I appreciate you being brave enough to be you. Thank you.
You know, everybody loves a good beard. I'm here with the real bearded men. Can you guys tell me your names, please? Yeah, I'm Timo. I'm Al. And what are you guys doing here today? So we're here showcasing our products. We sell a variety of all natural beard care products and accessories. We sell clothing as well. It's like a lifestyle brand. Fits in really well with the tattoo culture because so many uh, people that get tattoos and our artists have beards. So we're just here to make sure everybody has the healthiest, nicest beard that they can have with using our products. Tattoos do have beards. Um, it's a great crowd here, awesome event, and a ton of people. And what's your hottest product? So our hottest product would probably be our hemp balm. That would be this. And it smells incredible, it's all natural. Can I smell it? Yes, you can. <laughs> that smells appetizing. Yeah, we actually have an oil too that we use hemp in. The Dead Sea Salt with hemp oil. Okay. It's a, one of our most popular oils. Yeah, it smells like a spa. Nice. <laughs> okay, yeah, well. The, the products are actually good for tattoos as well because it helps uh, hydrate the skin in the areas where you have your ink because it gets dry quicker. So it can be used for those purposes as well. We don't use any fragrance oils or anything like that. So it's not going to peel any kind of color off the tattoos or anything like that as well. A lot of people actually do use our hemp balm for tattoos. Um, it actually keeps it nice and moisturized. It doesn't dry it out and it keeps it actually nice and shiny. Well, thank you so much for sharing your products with us. And can we expect you back next year? Yes, you can. Yeah, we'll be here 100%. You heard that. So if you have a beard, come by again next year or today or tomorrow. Go we'll check us out too at www.realbeardedmen.com. Check yep. us out on Instagram and YouTube as well and Twitter. That's it. Thank you guys. Enjoy thank you. Time. Have a great day. Morgan Joyce. <laughs> it's me. And she is repping Inked Magazine today. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Okay, well, I do a lot. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a hairstylist, I'm a model, and I do like promotional stuff. So I'm working with Inked Magazine today at the tattoo convention in Philly. <laughs> well, it's really nice to have you here. How long have you been working with the Inked Magazine family? For a couple of years, but I just started recently getting a little more like involved with actual like hands-on stuff they actually started to you know take me on so I'm really excited about that but yeah so it's kind of recent only a few months I've really been getting in there you know okay. <laughs> and what do you love about the tattoo convention oh my god I love the tattoo convention this is my ninth year coming okay I've been coming since before I was even allowed to like legally get tattooed <laughs> I just think it's like the coolest thing ever that you can see artists from all over the country all over the world in one place like you never get that opportunity to do that you know what I mean and this is always the best one in my opinion <laughs> so that's why I've been coming here for so long so I think my favorite thing is just being able to experience artists from around around the world yeah well actually everybody before you also said this one's their favorite so <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's well, the biggest it one yeah, it's the biggest, so. and it's like I don't know it's just like they know what they're doing you know like it just it just runs yeah. smoothly every year so I always enjoy it Oh, well, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Thanks for interviewing me. <laughs> I'm here with... Scotty O from After Inked. And what are you doing here? Well, we're out here selling our aftercare product, After Ink. It's an all-natural aftercare. We've been uh, out about 10 years now. We heal up all the canvases on Ink Masters for about eight seasons now. It's going strong, and uh, we came down to Philly because the crowd's insane. You got probably close to 50,000 people here this weekend. It's crowded. And uh, we have rapping with you right now, so. <laughs> Whatever she wants to throw at me, I'm ready to say. So, what do you and, got? And I want to add that this product is cruelty free and vegan for those of you who may have been wondering. There you go. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to add about your product? Uh, basically, it's uh, you can go right to it. 
day one of your tattoo, deals with your itching itching stage we go through, about four or five days into yeah. the peel. Gets a little annoying. Uh, you don't really need to use anything else. It doesn't stick to your clothes. It's uh, super clean, edible, food grade, safe, safe for the environment, yeah. safe for you, and uh, good stuff. Awesome. Thank you so much. Tears from the West Coast. Hello, how are you? What's your name, buddy? Uh, Drew, Drew De La Fuente. Drew De La Fuente, I'm from Los Angeles, California. And uh, this is our sixth year, I think. Yeah, nonstop. And what style of tattooing do you mostly do? Everything. Everything, everything. yeah. For a convention, you want to do everything. Okay. You know? Yeah. And where can we find you if we want um, to? Drew Tattoo 13 is my Instagram. And I'm usually traveling with Villain Arts, with Troy's, any any Troy shows. Will you be at the Baltimore one? Yes, Baltimore, Chicago, Atlanta. Awesome. Yeah, Villain Arts shows is, is is number one. That's it. It's it. Like it, it's it's the only show I do. It's my favorite show too. Yeah, he takes care of everybody. It's it's always it's always on point. There's I, I never have a problem. I always make money. It's there's a line outside the door all the time. So the food's not bad. You know, <laughs> we could do different food, but that's it. So yeah, we could use some food them. suggestions. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you guys, thank you. I'm here with First Class Tattoos from New York City. Can you please tell us your name? Uh, I'm Diego Romay. And what style of tattooing do you love to do? Um, I do it a lot of um, color realistic flowers, flowers mostly. Uh, but I also like black and gray line work, I love that geometry stuff. Is this your first time at the tattoo convention here at Villain Arts? Uh, actually, this is my four year. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been like coming for four years, so yeah, I'm familiar with this. Well, we're glad to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Octavia and I'm here with Nick. Uh, Nick has a product for tattoo numbing. Nick, can you tell us about it? Sure, uh, our product's called TLC Plus. Uh, it's an FDA registered dermal anesthetic. Basically, we have one product for before the tattoo, a spray for during the tattoo, and a CBD-infused healing balm for after. Now, Nick, a lot of people are vegan nowadays. Is this product cruelty-free and vegan? Yes, it is. That's great to know. Is there anything else you want us to know about your product? Uh, we use a different absorption process, process than other products. Uh, it's called microemulsion. Uh, it basically breaks down the, into the skin via water, so it's actually able to get through a few layers of your skin rather than just on the top. So we will check your product out. Thank you. I'm here with Cannabis and Hemp Association. Can you tell us your name, please? Uh, Jamal. And where can we find your products once you leave the tattoo convention? Uh, you can go on uh, cannabisandhemp.org and uh, you can just pull that information right up. Right on cannabisandhemp.org. Can you tell us more about your products? Uh, yeah, we have uh, full spectrum CBD extract products and um, basically have uh, anything under the sun, whatever you need, in the uh, CBD world, we have that. You know, there's different people. Everybody has a different way that they like to take yeah. their medicine. So we have can accommodate all of that. Okay. And um, is this your first time here? Uh, no, this is actually we do the show every year, okay. and um, we hope to be doing it more in the future. As many shows. We so do what brings you back? Because uh, we have a it's a good marriage in the tattoo industry, and um, you know we we just basically out here to spread word and spread love for the planet. So. Well, we also expect him back next year. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, Mikhail is also from First Class. He's actually the shop owner, and he did an amazing tattoo here. If you guys want to take a look at it, uh, do you want to tell us about what style of tattooing you do? I do pretty much everything. I prefer to do realistic. Uh, right now, I'm doing black and gray, but I mostly do color. Uh, but, I mean, if something is interesting, I like doing abstract too, so I'll do pretty much anything. And do you like the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention? Oh, I think it's the best convention, hands down. Like, this is amazing. There's so many people, uh, good vibes, and I've seen a lot of friends. So, going every year. So then we can expect to see you next year? Oh, for sure. Great, we're excited. Thank you so 
much for tuning in today and hopefully we will see you next year at the Philadelphia Villain Arts Tattoo Convention. But once again, my name is Octavia Plotchkov and you can find me on Instagram at Octavia Plotch, that's P-L-A-C-H, and on Twitter at Just Octavia. Thank you so much and see you guys next year.